We continue to follow a developing story. Armenian Americans demanding action tonight as their homeland inches toward war with Azerbaijan. Days of fighting have taken a toll on both soldiers and civilians there. But what is the root of this conflict? NBC4's Gordon Tokamatsu spoke with consul generals from both sides today. Look at him, how young he was. Here is how the conflict is taking its most tragic toll. My 20 years old cousin, a couple of minutes ago, dies. It's horrible. Between round the clock shifts reporting on the conflict for local Armenian TV, Armene Amirian has to pull herself together. She has family in the disputed territory. Like millions of ethnic Armenians, she still feels the sting of genocide and sees it happening again. He was so young, he had like so many dreams to come true. What do we want? Peace! When do we want it? Now! Just this afternoon, pro-Armenian supporters gathered outside the L.A. Unified School District, capping several days of passionate protests. California is home to the largest Armenian-American population in the United States. And many are watching developments in a region they called Artsakh very closely. It's a disputed territory inside the current borders of neighboring Azerbaijan, home to millions of ethnic Armenians. Today, it's the scene of escalating violence. Azerbaijani goal is just to exterminate Armenians, and they don't hide it. Exterminate, strong language to be sure, but Armenians were the targets of a genocide by the Turks more than 100 years ago, says the consul general. And now he says there's evidence that Turkey has joined this new fight. Tremendous casualties also among the civilian population, including women and children. Turkey is not involved in this conflict. Azerbaijani army is defending our territory, our people. Azerbaijan's consul general accuses Armenia of being the aggressor. Turkey, he says, only providing moral support. Azerbaijan is not targeting any Armenian civilian structures. Our targets are only military. Innocent civilians are dying. They want the world to stop it as soon as possible. In Glendale, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.